All right, so enough pretense, enough of the old Ludwig von. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Tuesday night modest stream of uh, boring content by a tired Mr. Tex. Welcome to the middle of the week where you will find, well, whatever this is. Um, you'll also notice that Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts now has no soundtrack whatsoever. No soundtrack whatsoever. Why does Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts have no soundtrack, you ask? Why? Well, because every track in it apparently has a different copyright holder. And the last time I streamed this, I had basically the mob lined up going, Hey, you got problems with this video. And I was like, Jesus Christ, it's they're okay tracks. They're all right, but they're not, you know... Uh, they're not worth that level of scrutiny. So the slider stays there. Uh, don't worry, I can kind of sing. Uh, <laughs> all right, here we go. Last time around, we played as not France. Today we're going to play as France, and we're going to bump it up to 1900 is where we start. We're not going to have an auto-generated fleet because boo... And we're going to just let random uh, things happen uh, because this is going to be all right. And here we go. Here we go. So, yes. Ah, the French champagne has been regarded well for its excellence. Yes. So what we're going to do is ruin country by applying stupid and occasionally sitting around. But nothing else really going on too terribly much. Just having fun with battleships. And greetings, everyone. Greetings. Let me see. What are we going to do? Uh, Mr. Tanks, I request Ave Marie. Not Maria, just Marie. Just <laughs> some very low-rent version of that song. So they gave me too much money. This is excellent. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the transport capacity very high, and we're going to blow our whole budget. We're going to hire nobody because, uh, come on, I ain't got that kind of money. But we're going to dump a bunch in the shipyard like you should. You should always do that. You know, I mean, it's just what we do. It's, it's just what we do here. So we need to create a new ship, obviously, for the Navy, which apparently prior to this date did not exist. So we also have advanced to a certain point of getting near dreadnoughts, but not dreadnoughts, but near dreadnoughts. We also need to get to our research and start to see where that is. Because I'm going to put some money into engines, and I'm going to put some uh, money into destroyers, and I'm going to put some money into uh, rangefinders. Because I have an idea. Now, we need to make some okay enough battleships with which to just terrify the other nations, and then we need to design the real Doctrine ships in secret. It's going to be all right. Don't you worry about it. And don't worry if YouTube notifications didn't work. I mean, I got... 98,000 or whatever, and whoever shows up, shows up. I mean, I just, I need to have like a flag spinner. I guess I got to hire YouTube to get me a flag spinner person, you know, just to stand outside my channel and be like, hey, the lunatic's on. If you want to watch that guy. But nah, man, shit posting ain't about the numbers. It ain't about the audience. It's about the shit posting. So this looks relatively battleshipish. Uh, it's uh, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't feel good, but I'm gonna just do this and cringe. And what do we got for armor? We've got up to Krupp one, so that does show that my game of France, I was incredibly advanced when it came to uh. Krupp armor in the 1890s, so, uh, well, let's see. Actually, you know, we could make a tumble home, and we could just make a very good one. That would be kind of funny. I mean, that's tumble home-ish. That's really tumble home. That's like granddaddy tumble home, and then that is, oh, man, that's just weird. 
That's an even bigger weird. That's a long boy. This is king of the tum... Okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's, here's the plan. Here's the plan. We are going to lure the enemy into a false sense of security by making enormous tumble homes. That's step one. Just one. Just one enormous tumble home. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do one enormous tumble home, right? Because, holy shit, how does this thing not just roll over on accident? Like, just, just look. I mean, it's, it is the, yeah, that's, that's bad. So we're going to just make the most out of this. Oof. Ugh, it's ugly. If you ever feel bad, though, go look at real tumble homes. They, they were worse. So we're going to do uh, eh, just good enough guns. I don't care. Nine inches, good enough. Just good enough little guns. Nothing too fancy. I'm going to go for rate of fire anyways. Ooh, eight inch guns. Hello. <laughs> See, this is what you do. Is you have the main battery that is just little nine inch guns. And then the secondary, which is eight inch guns. Because that sounds hilarious. So what else can we do to make this really bad? We need a bunch of anti-torpedo boat guns, and by that I mean four of them, because that's, I guess, the existential threat here, right? But yeah, ass loads of big guns. I don't see any downsides. This is going to be an okay ship. However, there is a question. What if I went the other way? What if I went to... Oh, no. The war drums are calling me. <laughs> Uh, this this boat's now really cool. <laughs> look look at this. Look look at that. That is, oh, that's some good stuff. That's some that's some really good stuff. This is this is uh, this is mother of all flack right here. I mean, okay, I'm feeling that. Just just for the mean. I mean, just for the first few wars we get into. Don't don't worry. This is not sowing the seeds of our defeat, surely. Um, let's see. Four weight offset. I need to knock those out to move that, and then there. Okay, good enough. All right. So yeah, it's just going to be blap and daca everywhere, which is going to be fantastic. And what would be great is if we actually armored it right, and the enemy was like, "Mother of God, why does this thing have armor?" And we just laugh the whole time and play those weird troll remix songs. All right, so twenty knots? Can it do twenty knots? How? How does it do that? Okay, don't worry. We'll just put some of that in there and pretend that Krupp helped us because I'm sure they would, and I'm sure they wouldn't eat their fucking hat for this, but they would. They would not. They would. They would not discriminate. Um. Okay, so it can do 20 knots, and it has all the guns known to man. And, yeah, all right. <clears throat> we have a sports tumble home. I know some of you are going to start screaming um, at the idea of such a thing existing, but I can't hear you because it's funny to me, and I think the idea of a sports tumble home is really fun, and we should embrace the idea of sports tumble home as a, as a weapon of war sports tumble home it's a it's a sports tumble home right it's it just don't worry about it now it has funnels you know has plenty of it has four funnels what i think would be really funny is if this thing was ruinously armored and could do 20 knots which is okay uh it's not great but it's okay we'll just put oh man all right come on there we go yes Okay, we are right under there, and the engine's going to burn out, but I don't care. Uh, Count de Monet, one of the most famous uh, French counts of history. Count de Monet. We're going to take Count de Monet, and we are going to... Uh... <laughs> oh, God. All right, so we're going to build 12 of those things. And now we have them. Count de money. Uh, uh, the things I find joy in. So let's wind this bitch down a little bit right there. Ooh, there you go. And we're going to stay into our research until we start researching not crap. And then we're going to build that. 
And, uh, yeah, so the engine is the least important part of the sports tumble home, as you know. Oh, wow, they'll give me so much money just to cause some civil unrest? Yes, please. Thank you very much. I'll have that and not spend it on anything related to what you paid me for. Go me. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see. Tension. Uh huh. Okay. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my fleet and I'm gonna go all these guys and they're like, oh, we're fleet and being. No, no, no. We're just gonna keep them there. Just gonna kind of keep them there. Keep them safe. Keep them secret. Who's our adversary? Uh, yeah. There's no. There's no war in the future. We don't believe in it. Um, I told the press no more war. I outlawed it. We're doing very well. And you know, we're we're just gonna be all right. They're 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 just saying like, what what is the future of war? And I'm like, the boats stay at home. They're like, why? And I'm like, cause they're comfy. Cause they're fucking comfy. So I got better rangefinders. Now I need to get into okay. Destroyers doing all right. D d d d d. I need mm, choices. Yes, armor. It is time to ship post. You know. Oh, here comes Mr. Train, everyone's favorite. There we go. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, what? Delays? <laughs> That's slander. Yeah. I don't care what all the other damage it did, but you can't slander me. That's my job. I'm the head of the Navy. All right, so uh, we got destroyers up to 950. Eh, boring. Boo. Uh, let's get into hmm, choices. Explosives, because picric acid. When you look at picric acid, it should say fucking in the middle. There we go. Picric acid. Sufficient. It should say Pinkrick fucking acid when you look it up. It is not good stuff. All right. Uh, control station range finders. Armor forging. We need hard armor. We need hard, hard armor. As we just have these giant battleships that do nothing. Don't worry that they do nothing. We're going to build more of them. Because, it. don't worry, it's a government program. It's Everyone's going to get a job building the Count de Monet class battleship. Okay? Everyone will get a job. Everyone can have a job. Don't worry. What? I sank Austro-Hungaria's vessel, but it's only worth that much money? I'll pay it. That's embarrassing. Holy shit. All right, so what's the next step, boys? Yeah, we need, we need, we need to build uh, a lot of... Oh, yes. Hmm. Yes, the, the Navy's spending too much money. That sucks for him. I'm not spending enough, but that's okay. I'm keeping people employed. Um, I've studied a lot of those um, ammunition explosions uh, for the day job. Um, I, I kind of have written stuff on it, uh, so I, I don't watch a lot of YouTube content on it. Um... And it, that's to say that I actually don't, I actually don't watch a lot of YouTube content. Period. Um, I'd say the only thing I watch religiously on YouTube is Red Letter Media. I I hope that doesn't make people very upset. Um, <laughs> I I just some some people are gonna be like, yeah. Sorry. Uh, let's see. The government's worried about the growing international tension. Military does it becomes possible. What's your advice? Um, yeah, we need a bigger Navy budget, but I need to figure out how much... Wait, what? No, I'm not giving them fucking money. Why would give Austro-Hungarian Empire money be a job? I mean, you know, like, I, I don't understand it. I, I, I don't know. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to hit next. Okay, I unlock Dreadnoughts, which is fine, but I'm not going to build them because I have Tumble Homes coming in 12 months, guys. That's... <laughs> okay, that's... That's like somebody saying, like, Hey, guys, do you want to go out and get a P-51 
pizza from insert your favorite pizza place. And like, guys, guys, Totino's pizza rolls in 26 minutes. In 26 minutes. Let's see. Uh, uh Uh-oh. Something about assassins and stuff? I don't care. Looks like we're at war with Germany. Um, We need to increase our Navy budget because we're at war with the Krauts and now we're in trouble. So here we go. And what are we going to do? Hi, Diggs. Hello. Let's see. New design. New design. Because we've got uh, nine months until whatever. Uh, but the German fleet is... Eh, all right. I'll just uh, put the whole battle fleet there in the channel and uh, see if they can get past it. Because if they can, who cares? I'll take the loss for this war and then laugh to the next. Then I will abandon all of these large ships. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all my battle fleet in one giant block and encourage him to do something about it. Well, uh, while I've sent my whole fleet to the north, while I've sent the whole fleet to the north, the Austro-Hungarian Empire has invited me to remove my navy from their borders, which it is not. The navy sat in harbor as a floating display of government wealth, and then I sent it out to sea to go fight people, and they're like, you need to stop doing that. And I'm like, you know what? You know what? Let's do this. Fine. You know what? Fuck you, Austro-Hungarian Empire. I'll fight you next. Looks like I have to fight all of the German Navy today. So, great. I also forgot to put picric acid on these things. And all they have is a notion of tiny little guns. But, you know, we have to break a few eggs in order to omelet the world, right? I think that I like my chances to cause chaos. So step one is to take these smunky tumble homes. My God, it looks like the Great White Fleet. Just smunk. All right, so uh, Count de Monet uh, is right is 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 in formation. Looks like we're all steaming up at first smonk time. Uh, I'm hoping to find the enemy, because it says they're in the northeast, which is right about two points off the bow. So let's uh, just adjust heading by a little bit and see what happens. As the tumble home smokestack boys come on in. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to tell everyone to just hit them with all the ammunition as soon as they see an enemy. As soon as they see them, as soon as they see a smidgen or anything, we're just going to start shooting in all directions. I'm also going to reduce speed on these Monopoly boats because they're awful. And I'm probably going to break the two other formations off and have them plow down the same line as the first so we can create the love train effect as we drive right through the enemy. So, all right, looks like we found them. Thus begins the hotel war. All right, so let's go hey diddle diddle right up the middle. We're going to break right with you, and we're going to break left with you. Why are you Why are you doing this, Tumble Home? Why? Stop. Anyways, all right. So the first ship in formation is having a few bonks. However, they found out that I made it out of rocks. So let's just go ahead and turn, and we will reduce speed to half. And we're going to go ahead and try to start shooting the destroyer fleet destroyer no like all right so we got shells flying everywhere <laughs> wow that is a nice broadside I really like it that's a nice broadside ooh Got rounds flying everywhere. Come on, hotels. Oh, let's let's start flying. Oh, there we go. He caught some business. I mean, they're shooting the first one to bits because it's the whole fleet, but Oh, here they come for a torpedo run. This is where it's going to get dicey. They're laying smonk. They're coming in. 
I'm not playing this in fast forward because I want you guys to have the cinematic, you know, joy of uh, all these ships exploding. Because if I lose, Tumble Home's blowing up is fantastic. Now, ooh, that's a good release of Torps. I don't like that. Here we go. Okay, looks like one of the Torps has got some ED issues going on and another one just exploded. They do that. Looks like it made them break up. No, he didn't. He is definitely cutting right for it. However, his torps are also going cattywampus. Uh, as, as you can see, one of them is spread out, which actually might help him, which is bullshit. This could hurt. There's one, two, and three. All three are good. That's surprising. All right, the first, uh, the first terrible ship is having an issue. Verite is uh, a little bit smonk right now, but it's we're still fighting, so it's all right. As we know, battleships should always charge straight for the uh, straight, straight, just straight at them, just straight through. No big deal, no big trouble. We just gotta go right at the enemy and give them a little bit of the owies, while these two people in the back unfuck their business. Unfucking your business is a full-time job for most people. So we're going to turn left as they're continuing to turn. They're not appreciating this at all. They're having they're having a bit of uh, bit of hesitation. Now they did land the first few good hits. I will give them that. Also, it appears my range finders are made out of crackers. And the rest of my formation is having extreme difficulties. So let's try to take the rest of what survives of the first formation and draw the enemy back in as the second and third formations begin to uh, try to cover. Let's beat the hell out of these guys on the way through, though. And I'm not complaining about dud torpedoes. I think the addition of dud and fucky torpedoes is fantastic in this game because the early non-dud torpedoes were horrifying. All you had to do is build torpedo boat fleets and you win. I mean, you could just absolutely contest the enemy. It was absolutely great. And I think it is fantastic, uh, especially some of the stuff you can build in this game. It is very, very pleasing. All right, so we're just going to keep swinging on people. We're going to do the best we can. He did bring his whole fleet, and that's fine. I only brought most of my fleet. Ah, yes, he has lost a cruiser. Excellent. That's what you get for having feelings. Now I'm going to just keep shooting him. I think there was one of those... Ooh, never mind. I know what did it. The business. And it sounds like someone just angrily emptying a kitchen. You know, just throwing shit around. I mean, I'm forming a pretty good skirmish line. I, I just want them to have some fun here, you know? I'm going to bring the speed down on this formation about 12 knots, and this formation is coming in, so he needs to maintain speed. But we're going to just try to pace these divisions and uh, shoot the living shit out of everything while we cover the Verite, which is, unfortunately, he is just gobsmack in the middle of Get Fucked Forest, and he's having a bad day. Is it really quiet for anyone else? That's a good question. Hold on. <laughs> One moment. Let me get my audio fixed. How's this? Does this sound better? <laughs> or does this sound worse? Let's find out. Which of these is better or worse? Better or worse? Better or worse? Better or worse? I mean, it's the question often when it comes down to uh, things. When it comes down to uh, <laughs> YouTube, uh, you find that certain things are um, hmm, difficult. Then changes always change, but here we go. So the battle continues. Just lots and lots and lots of little bonks and donks and all that other things. It's one of those things that when it comes down to YouTube... You have to play with uh, mm, settings and 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 settings, but it's YouTube. And 
especially when you're transmitting. So I can go over and just press one button or the next, but we can get back to the action. So don't worry. Oh, there's not very much game sound really at all. Um, but they were saying I was quite, oh, the game audio is indeed quite low. The background audio is unfortunately quite copywritten. So I've had to turn things down. Tex, look behind you. No, thank you. Ah, it's always something. Oh, they want more in-game sound effect noises? All right. It can be louder. But I always don't want to blow people's eardrums out, especially with shooting and stuff. But you'll have to be specific. Anyways, it looks like our battle line is slowly skirmishing with theirs. We're trading fire pretty good. Yeah, just wait until they copyright the actual sound effects. You can just do the sound effects with a mouth. No. Sound effects aren't copywritten, but I meant the soundtrack is. So uh, the, the lack of background happening is uh, just, well, we can always turn it up. Yeah, I think, I think, you know, would be a lot more effective. It would bring us all back to childhood, wouldn't it? It would just make us, uh, just make us all a little bit more happy. One moment. Let me adjust one more audio setting as these guys continue to just slug this out. We'll see if we can't, uh, make this a little bit more interesting. I mean, that's that's quiet. We can make that louder. Yeah. All right, do you guys hear the wreckage and shit? <laughs> yeah, that sounds a lot better. There we go. All right. Why are they fighting? I don't know. Germany was being belligerent and somebody got assassinated. Wow. Nope, no increase in sound. One moment. That guy just exploded. <laughs> it's always something with my settings. It's because every time you update anything, uh, and I do mean anything, uh, when it comes down to YouTube, it's a pain in the ass. So here, let's try this. Adjusting that. All right. Well, Germany started it. Somebody got assassinated and some other stuff, but uh and Don't worry about being outnumbered. It's quite fine. Yeah, all we had to do was adjust a few sounds so everyone could get the boom noises. Everyone's like, yes, I want bang boom. It's okay. It's always annoying. So it looks like we're going to have to back out of this one uh, because the enemy has certainly a higher weight of fire, uh, but I could probably harass them a fair bit on the way out. So here we go. Let's start swinging at the enemy. Let's let the enemy have some fire. And don't worry about not getting notifications. Uh, no amount, no amount of, um, no amount of notifications are generally going to work. <laughs> they never have. Uh, I'm, I'm one of those things that is, is spread by word of mouth and the kindness of strangers and maintained by that trust, more or less. Um... It's kind of like a speakeasy, so it's kind of fun and horrifying, but fun, but horrifying. So we're just going to cruise around with our boats as they want to have a battle line, and that's fine because I'm going to turn and give them one. They're clipping the far end of it, but we're going to turn and just start shooting the bejeebers out of them. I don't know what a bejeeber is, but the guns will destroy that much and be good enough. I hear things ramming constantly. 
And it's not my guys, so I'm thankful, but I need to be their maintenance people. What is my favorite media mech? Every time people ask, I change the answer. <laughs> Varies. Varies. Man, it seems like they don't want to play games anymore. Look at these guys. They just want to concentrate all that firepower? Alright, fine. I will. Gentlemen, destroy that cruiser. Can't believe they're applying post-dreadnought fire order on stuff. That's very Jutland of them. Fine enough, gentlemen. Fine enough. Let's switch to HE. Let's bring the formation in and that on. And then let's just be very belligerent. Destroy him. He's different. Don't like. Most hated mech? I don't know, man. Some of the stuff they came up with later on, they were like, it's stealth, and it's invisible, and it, it, it runs at 180 kph, and it has all these abilities. I was like, eh, it's Superman. Boring. I remember Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Uh, I remember my friend sinking an ocean of time into that game when it came out. I remember he was obsessed with it. He played it probably six hours a day for six months. And I saw enough of that by osmosis and played it a little bit. And I thought it was a game. That is my opinion on it. Thank you, Polish. I appreciate it. All right, so we're, we're just starting to feed oceans of light caliber guns into people very properly, of course, in broadside. Even though this is the dumbest thing in the world, it's pleasing. And the enemy is trying to pick apart the battleships we have, which are doing pretty good at playing keep away uh, versus the lighter vessels, which is nice. So let's just beat the living shit out of this guy. All right, let's get going. And be careful of upvoting. It might draw in more people, and then you'd have to deal with the normies. Yep, my battleships are just plowing through. So they have a lot of lighter combatants. We need to destroy most of them. They're carrying delicious torpedoes, which I unfortunately cannot have. I mean, wow, we just rammed that guy. Fuck that guy. Fuck him for trying. So what we're going to do is just shoot the bejesus out of people. As you can see, just constant constant batteries rolling off the battleships, which is fantastic. And yeah, they're torpedoing my guys and chasing my battleships, but they're getting beat to death for it, so I don't care. Uh, good old broadside boats. Broadside boats. Broadside. I know it's not good doctrine, and it seems like most of the shots are just bouncing off this a-hole. Or missing completely. And that's fine. It's annoying, but it's fine. So he's having a bad day. God, it looks like the Imden almost. Oh cool, their people are surrendering. What button do I press to not accept that and just plow them under the murder boat? I'm just going to beat this guy to death and watch him fall down. 
He's having a bad day. Now, they did catch some battleships and some crossfire that are a bit damaged, but they're actually putting up a hell of a fight. I'm going to slowly whittle this guy down. This is not over yet. Now, he has caused some casualties, which I am not happy with. But I'm going to make him suffer. We're just going to keep putting shots into these cruisers and knocking them out. Because he's going to run out of torps. That's a theory. The fact is who knows. But I'm assuming that he's going to run out of torpedoes. Yeah, he doesn't carry that many. In fact, it looks like he carries torpedoes of two sizes. No, it's two different mounts. One's a twin shot, one's a single shot. I mean, even his light cruisers only carry four, his destroyers are in various states of reload. But he's a torpedo-heavy navy, and the big blob is about to catch up with some of my stragglers there, which is unfortunate. Unfortunate. I wish I'd put picric acid on these battleships, but I may have doomed my campaign before it started, but c'est la vie. Ah, the French. And thank you. Uh, the mod the Magistrato Mundanus is is getting there. Mike is throwing hard on it, and it's gonna be great. It's it's gonna be a really really fun game. Are you guys wanting to see an HMS Thunderchild? Because I could make that. I just have to restart the campaign and go heavy into cruisers from the get go. But I could make a horrible ramming torpedo ship, no problem. It's just right now I'm committed to these horrible tumble homes because they make me happy. Well, not really happy. I just like watching them explode. It's not really happy, is it? It's Schadenfreude. You know? I mean, if you guys want to see it, I'll do it. <laughs> uh, all right. Fine. If you, if you want fast... Sure, no problem. Let me, let me, yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. I was starting to win that on uh, casualties. But what we're going to do is, yeah, all right, fine. You want, you want fast. Let me, let me get to where that was. Uh, you know what, we'll do 1890. Don't worry. Uh, no. And his, no. All right, there we go. You want to, no, 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 it's going to be a French campaign. Don't worry. You wanted fast ram. Fine, no problem. Ah, the French. Ramming speed is the theory we're going to follow. Which means no matter what, one of my researches must be on engine. No trouble. Fine, we'll do it. And no, I can't make a Tillman design because the game doesn't allow me to make things that are six feet thick and made out of steel. So don't worry. And go, do not open champagne to this stream. The birth of a child, a new job, whatever. Uh, but, you know... The, not, not, not this stream. So let's do engines and then, okay, cruisers. We need light cruisers. And uh, we're going to have to get explosives to work at first. God, this is going to be hard. All right, so how fast can we make it? What's a light cruiser? All right, we're going to get into one. <laughs> That's one for the philosophers. Um, Greg, you still out there? I need a French name for a mm, fast ram. Like, zzz, what is what is Thunderchild? Vit, you know, it's something. I, I don't speak that, so. Uh, I think cheap champagne is the good stuff. <laughs> I I I think I, I think that that is that is exactly what champ champagne is curva. Um, okay, curva. Yeah, that's that's not bad. That's a very French word. Uh, don't worry. It's 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 going to be. Yeah, no, we're gonna do some ramming. So the first step of ramming is if you're going to accept ram as a doctrine, it needs to be cheap. So that's what we're going to do. Now, we need to be fast enough to chase people. Uh, 25 knots, it says we cannot do. Because it assumes that... Yeah, alright. So I see why they're saying that. Because this is an age of crap. So let's do 22 knots I could get. Alright. 
23 knots. All right. 24. Okay, I see where we are. Right. So 24 knots is about where it's at. We just need to now make it work. When I drank, what kind of beer did I drink? I liked stouts. I also like German lagers, um, uh, Czech pilsners, a variety of things. All right, so we need torpedo launchers because that's pretty much going to be the only way we can kill anybody with these things. Uh, each one of those is 23 tons, so I can't have many. They're all tiny little 4-inch guns. There's no range finders. We're using black powder, and I just deleted that tower, which I need very badly so these are awful ships um however you will be pleased to know there is a whole inch of armor in the four belt uh which will afford you and your friends a half breath before destruction it will just be and you're gone i'm not i'm not terribly worried even though the pitch and roll are atrocious and the, everything's shit so what we're gonna do is just Increase the gun caliber. There we go. Ah, okay, good enough. And we're we're just gonna name yeah, there we go. Oh shit, I need a funnel. That's right. I forgot that boats need the smoke to leave. Okay, the boat is now overweight. I need to make austerity measures. Don't worry. How can I saw these off to get the weight back? People are gonna be like, my god, why tax? And I'll be like, don't worry. I keep saying don't worry. But what I mean is, I'm terrified, and I'm hitting buttons. So, it'll be alright, I think. Alright, yeah, close enough. Okay, good. Cheap and good. Not really. These are incredible. <laughs> glass cannons? No. No, these aren't cannons at all. They're just glass. Uh, however, we will build 40 of them. Because step one is to make sure the enemy can't destroy your whole navy by making the navy too big to destroy. That's step one. That's, that's just going to be step one, is just have an enormous bunch of cruisers. Uh, as far as Text Talk's history, um, we're going to be going to South America for our first story. I am going to explore a failed Napoleon. It's it's going to be a really neat story, uh, but it's it's uh, it's an interesting guy. Let's see, fleet in being. This is location English Channel. They shouldn't be in the English Channel, but that's fine. Am I a rodeo guy? Been to a few. It's not my first one. Ha <laughs> ha. But no. Uh, let's just take some naval prestige. Because we'll take it. It's free. I've been to a few. They're all right. I meet all sorts of interesting people. And no, it's 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 uh, it's it's not Bolivar. It's not a it's it's not a big famous guy. <laughs> it's I. Uh, <laughs> you'll see. Um. It's it's gonna be good. It's gonna require re it's gonna require research in three languages, um, which I'm excited for. I I'm very excited for also working internationally. So this is this is gonna be neat. Um, let's see. Uh, turret rotation speed, definitely actually range finders. Being able to see things with your eyes useful. So let's see. Industrials who are impressed by our navy are ready to invest. What do we want? We want money. Give money. Picric acid. Yeah, we're going to do definitely lots of picric acid because that makes me feel better. Now we're going to take these 40 cruisers we have and we're going to tell them to just sit at harbor and act like they're in the navy. That's all they have to do. And yes, I will eventually do a Battletech 101 for the periphery. However, that's going to take a lot more to write. Uh, you know what? I'll take the plus to GDP. I will take that plus to GDP, and we're trying to get the picric acid.
okay, let's say coincidence rangefinder, meaning that the target when you hit it isn't just a coincidence. That's how you remember how good they are. They're just above guessing. <laughs> they're really not great, but what they're they're better than guessing. So what do we got? Political party wants to push through it, reduce the fine. What? You know what? You know what? I support their idea. Yeah, defund the navy. See what happens. Watch what happens. I will make so many problems for them. I'll be like, well, I, you shouldn't have defunded the Navy. All the ships are in the ponds now. <laughs> when you fund the Navy, they keep them out of the ponds. A bit, a bit, why are all the submarines on the beach? I'd be like, well, yeah, I mean, I couldn't afford maps, you know. Uh, and yeah, sweetened condensed milk is a good creamer for coffee. Um, Vietnam thinks so, and I wouldn't fuck with them. They know their coffee. Gun cotton, nitrocellulose. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get to picric acid and we're gonna try to get better and better range finders and just better and better engines. And we're gonna hope that we can figure out like arm armor. Oh God, one of our ships has collided with the destroyer. Did it float into the fucking port? How? My Navy hasn't moved. How did, how did this happen? How? How did this happen? Like, my, I've told my guys not to leave. Did they, like, bump into someone pulling out? Fuck. Uh, let's say, um, ignore the question of the journalists. That's how you're doing. All right, let's see. Uh, ooh, social programs. I don't know. What do I... Uh, I'll take some. Let's see. The majority of the parliament calls for immediate action against the Austro-Hungarian Empire. I'd be like, What? Uh, yeah, all right, I guess. I mean, I, how, just how would we collide with the destroyer when my shit doesn't leave port? It just doesn't. It, it It's like someone's saying you robbed them and you haven't left. The, oh, wait, yeah, I guess you could do that. All right, well, I guess we need to build 20 more. That seems to be in line with my, uh, seems to be on my, uh, thing, you know. Jean Cole, we're just going to go big and we're going to, you know, we're just going to have fun here. It's going to be great. Yeah, see, they're going to fight each other. What are my opinions on submarines? Uh, I don't care. Is it a ship that rams things? No. This is the fast fleet. We don't have time for things like morality. It's, it's about speed, right? And speaking of, I should probably pay my crew more. Just a bit. So when we do go to war and take 800 million casualties, they don't hang me. Our Navy is training levels inadequate. Um, it's, I disagree. A small cruise ship was sunk due to, wow. From port. From port. The, I mean, I, fuck them. I mean, yeah, if, if I shot a gun in my harbor and I blew up one of your boats, fuck them. That's your problem. All right. Oh, uh, oh, no. You know what? Let's just cooperate with the Germans for now. I will not regret saying that. And then like in 10 minutes, someone's going to say, Tex, remember when you said that and you were wrong? All right. So now we have 60 light cruisers. Um, we just invested in them. What? Ugh. We haven't left. You know what? Fuck them. Fuck them. That's, that's the response now. That's the universal response. Fuck them. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to get bullied by people. Germans want to play a game. I'll play a game. It's called I Have a Lot of Ships. They're not very good. Please don't, please don't test what they're made out of because they're made out of, like, breadsticks. <laughs> These things are crap. He doesn't need to know that, though. So I need to build probably another 20 of them to convince him that uh, I'm really awesome. I mean, what's, what's he going to do? Oh, I see why some of these ships did things. They were in being and not limited, which means they may have collided with something going to and from the port. All right, uh, let's see. Gover demonstrate our power. Uh, no. Yeah, we uh, the ships are broken and we can't. That's what I told the Navy. I said, our ships are broken and we cannot um, because of the ship being broken uh, and we can't go there because we're out of pasta. Uh, ooh, 
Uh, mm, uh, let's see. What do we want? What do we want? Navy budget? I'll take the GDP for now. Oh, cool. We unlock screaming in a tube for technology, for, for, tech, for communication. We're, we're getting the scream tube. Um, excellent. That's really, truly excellent. I, I, I had thought we wouldn't have that technology or access to it. Uh, wow. I, I just, I can't believe that. All right, so, let's see. Due to the military confrontation, we have about, what is your advice? You know what? Um, I'm going to say, like, fuck them. That's, that's my response. Because fuck them. They, they're going to say, what, what do you want? Fuck them. That's, that's just going to be the diplomatic response. They're upset at the cheese you put out. Fuck them. I, I don't care. I'm a pretty okay government. All I've done is built cruisers. That's it. That's it. And they, they sank their own stuff in my harbor. They, with my breadstick navy. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm going to tell them to reinvest in the GDP, including my budget. And yeah, they should probably be putting fucking money in the navy. I mean, but probably more into the army, definitely. I mean, it's the 1890s. The big show is not far off. See, nobody's fucking with me. I just have a big navy. It's fun. Oh, wow. They, uh, all right. Oh, cool. All right, negotiate. Yeah, let's get something out of it. We shook the Germans down, and we unlocked Pickrick Acid. The game is now hilarious. So let's get into cruiser design. Actually, no. Armor forging. Because what we do is we have 80 light cruisers now. And these 80 light cruisers are not great. They're not fantastic. They're, they're, they're just awful. So what we're going to do is we're going to put them to limited, which is very important. And then we're going to make them not crap slowly by doing a refit of all 80 at once, which is never done ever for any reason. But we're doing it now because this is a video game and you won't have a yard super come over and want to blow his brains out. So we're going to put the ballastine in there. We're doing some upgrades to the armor. We're going to then get into the engine and make it faster, maybe, for... No, it's going to just have more armor. We're going to make that a one-inch belt. That's right. Leather belt. All right, let's see. Two-inch two main deck? No, can't do. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. 1.5 it is. Good enough. I made it better. Not really. Don't worry about the gun caliber. We're making rigatoni. Fuck them. I mean, that's, that's what it's about. You have, to, you have to have that sort of mentality when you run a Navy. They're like, what are you doing? I'm like, fuck them. They're like, they want to fight with their Navy. And I'm like, I don't. I'm busy. I have shit to do. I have to hurt people with my boats, so, you know, fuck them. I mean, if you want speedy boat fun times, we're getting there. We just need to put more power into what we're doing. You know, fuck the Germans. They're, they're coming over. They're like, hey, man, how's it going? Not a big fan. Somehow, I am not liked by Austro-Hungary, and I'm not liked by the crowds, so just... Mm. Damn. A good goddamn, and I don't know why, but that's that's what they want to do. So, fine. We know what we're going to do. For military procurement, what is generally more expensive, air forces or navies? Now, that is a question for the philosophers, because air force programs and missile programs and all these other things have to be spread across all of their intended end use. So, that is like a... Oof. That is where you have to start calculating out a lot of crazy things. But let me put it to you this way. When I had to express the the cost of the LCS program, which canceled itself uh, under an act of Congress breach because it was so expensive, um, I, I explained it as such. Uh, the cost per vessel, per taxpayer, as expressed, is one-third of a kilo of pure uncut cocaine 
that's the, the, the cost of that vessel as expressed to the American taxpayer. So when, when you look at something like that, now the average American is not a cocaine user, but I think if you ask them if you would want to have a troubled vessel that had no use or a third of a kilo of uncut pure cocaine, the average American would go, well, you know, I know a guy. Just, mm, you know, I, just, I'll, just leave, leave it outside. I'll, 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 I'll find something to do. With. You know what I mean? It's just, it becomes one of those things. Um, so when it looks down to military procurement, there's good stories and there's bad stories. And all stories are interesting. Um <laughs> Military uh, procurement is a interesting study, let's say. Okay, so the Austro-Hungarian Empire uh, has sent us a telegraph, has sent us a telegraph, which clearly threatens us for war. Uh, in, in the latest worm incidents on our common borders. All right. All right. I'm I'm trying to think here. I mean Okay, you know, let's have some fun. Uh, you know what? What's the answer? Fuck 'em. All right, so let's send in the navy because it has been playing ping pong on these ships doing nothing. So, step 1 is we're just going to roll all of these French ships in a giant steamroller move right off Albania, and we are just going to roll right in there in force, and then I am going to send the second fl What is that? Battleships? Fuck them. I'm going to send in the cruiser squadron here, and I'm going to send this squadron here, and I'm going to prevent them from moving around Corsica, and then I'm going to send the 30 ships up here to sit right off their harbor, and I'm going to shoot everything remotely looking like Spätzle. I'm going to bombard everything with my tiny little boats. It is on like Donkey Kong, Franz Ferdinand. It is on. Ah, le blockade has begun. Here we go. Uh, let's see. A British Empire, shall we? Oh, their navy wishes to fight away from their shoreline. How delightful. So, yeah, that's just what we got to do. We just got to have some fight. It looks like they're going to have some fun times, and I guess all we do is destroy them. I'm afraid they're going to fight my 30 light cruisers are very operational. <laughs> this is dumb. All right, so step one of this really... Ugh, ah, what is this formation? Don't worry, I'll fix it. I'll just... Yep, 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 yep. yep. You're just going to fold that all in? Don't worry. All 30 now, uh, through your scream tubes and flags, I want you to just flail in all directions. Don't worry about that. Worry about that a little bit. How many torpedoes we got? Four? Good golly, Miss Molly, we are in trouble. So we're going to take all of these ships. Who's the first one? All right, good job, guys. Let's try not to ram each other, and let's come down to, like, 13 knots and just slowly crawl toward the enemy with our giant murder fleet of ships. All right, just let's not worry about that sound. Let's not worry about that sound at all. That is a very normal sound of a battle fleet maneuvering under operation under normal conditions. That is, that is just very normal. That is a perfectly okay sound that you could hear anywhere on any any navy anywhere it's just well it I mean let's just let's not look behind us I don't have time for that. I just need to look forward. Uh, the e yeah. So maybe maybe let's just start buying paint now. Let's just start buying the paint now because we're probably going to need it. I mean, that's right. That, that is what French cars sound like. <laughs> Can we count the ships, please? All right. I'm going to look around and hope that they're... Oh, oh, we got some action here. 
Begin the firing. Yeah. Oh, wow. They formed orderly lines. Excellent. Begin the shootery. All right. So don't worry that you still hear grinding. Don't worry. So we made contact with an enemy tor torpedo ship or something. Uh, what is happening? That is the sound of my navy rubbing each other with boats uh, because they don't understand how to use the steer wheel. They're, they're using it like it's in a music video, like Billy Joel, like Uptown Girl. You know, they're doing the up and down arm movements and stuff. That's how they're steering right now. They're, they're having a lot of, you know, back and forth, and it's, it's not good. And depending on who, well, where you want to guard, that's a good question because it depends on who you're likely to fight. I mean, if you're fighting Britain, you have to realize in this time period, you're fighting the whole world. It's a little different. Oh, wow, they actually hit one of my ships. That's unacceptable. Where's their navy? I'm going to clobber them. I just hear ramming in the background, so I'm just going to tell them to fuck it and go full speed ahead. Hey, diddle diddle, straight up the middle. Everyone makes smonk. I have 30 vessels. They're not good. Yeah, you just hear distant collisions in the dark and you probably see sparks and stuff. Alright, so my smonk cloud is bumping toward theirs. Just disregard the collision sounds. Don't worry. Our smonk is driving toward theirs, and it, it looks like that game Snake that used to be on the phone. I like that. I like that. I, I like that game on the phone. That was about the most sophisticated phone I think I honestly would ever need. The Nokia. It is a very uh, robust device. Oh, 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 they're shooting at me. They found out where I am. I somehow can't see them because my crew is blind. All right. Come on, boys. Stop being blind. Start using your peepers. You can't all be stupid. Yes, they can. All right, we're going to sail toward the shooting. That is how we know we are going to find the enemy. Target spotted. Let them have it. Oh, look at that. The iron rainbow. Ah, yes. Oh, look, another torpedo. Oh, wow, they're making a torpedo run over here. That's not... Yeah, wow. Talk about cross the streams. Holy shit. Flat gang. Fuck yeah. All right, here goes the rest of them. Lots of little guns constantly shooting. We haven't even identified some of the ships we're sinking. Forward, boys! Forward! All right, lads and lasses, pick a target. Whatever you can grab with a hook, you can keep. The mighty shall rule the waves today, brother. Man, picric acid is fucking great. Flat gang. Flat gang. Oh, man. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that voids the warranty. Oh, yeah, man. They might want to get off. So picric acid is bad. If you want to know how bad, that's how bad. Well, there were people on board. Let's ram them out of the way. Now they're done. And I mean like well done. They're probably cooked all the way through. All right, they're shooting the engines out of these things so they don't have much armor, but boy howdy are they angry. It's still exploding, like underwater. All right, boys, let's do it. 
Monty Python's flying turret. <laughs> wow. Pop that guy like a zit. All right, let's keep going. Bring your weak ships. I will destroy them all. Every one of their ships they put out of my action, they don't realize there's another one like 800 yards behind it just charging in. Hey, quit ramming that guy. You work together. That's weird. Don't shit where you eat. All right. Quit blowing up, you losers. All right. Oh, ooh. Friends. Yes, let us see who has the stronger broadside. I may be a smaller cruiser, but I'm a more dangerous one. All right, yeah, that's what you get. Welcome to Barbecue Town, bitch. Yeah, it's not smoke. People are just having a smoke break. All right, let's let them have it. Uh-oh, I seem to have taken a hit. Yeah, I'm going down. All right, bringing in the Milan. We're just going to keep fucking shooting. They want to play a game, we're going to play a game. And it's called My Name is Disposable and I can make eight of these a year. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, no. That's an ammo detonation. That's eating its way through the ship right now. Yeah, Picric Acid with minimal armor is a uh, double-edged sword, as you can see. That being said, fantastic effect against his lighter ships. Every one of these ships that gets crippled, though, continues to just pour fire out, which is great. Oh, wow, they're sinking the already burning ship. Don't worry. These are all disposable. Here we go, boys. Oh, we're going in. The rest of the formation is just still making its way in. So, uh... Every time they take one of these ships down, more bonk. I'm gonna put my bow right off there and put a torpedo. Oh, no, I'm not. That is my engine making a uh, problem. Ooh! Yahtzee! That's bad. What's a lifeboat? And conga lines are great. And putting down games and reading during downtime, you need to break it up with a different activity. You know, line of breast might have been a good idea. Let's go ahead and have that, right? Oh man, nothing but fires in this smog cloud. The enemy is like, why are ships just coming over and exploding? And I'm like, I've got so many ships, brother. And they're like, oh God. Just constant explosions. This is fantastic. They blow one up, there's gonna be another one. It doesn't matter. The Navy's coming. They wanted a fight. We're having one. It's just not the fight they thought they'd have. Oh, look at this guy. He's like, I, I, I seem to have made an error. And I'm like, indeed. It seems the most grievous error has been visited upon you. My navy is here. Oh, he just decided to sink after launching two torpedoes. Those doors must have been holding water in. Oh, oh, I survived that. Mother of God, thank you. Thank you so much. 
All right, he's running out of juice. Here we go. My guys are on torpedo avoidance, so smart. And we're bringing in the rest of the horde. And some of my other ships are trying to form up, but uh, yeah. Yes, we're going to go around and French things up very nicely. So the enemy is using a good amount of torpedoes uh, fairly aggressively. I've managed to split his battle line. I think his battleships are actually just fucking off right now. Okay, so... They're losing some boys for all this trouble, which is nice. And the rest of the formation is starting to show up, though I do have several ships in formation that are just absolutely dog-ass and spent. And we're just going to cruise around like a bunch of idiots. Alrighty, here we go. We're just going to keep putting rounds into these people to be as belligerent as possible. And encourage them to spread joy and flame. It's really about warmness, you know. Ah, excellent. The rest of the formation's here. Now I'm going to charge into the middle of this formation and shoot torpedoes, which may or may not do any or some or no damage. 1890s torpedoes are like weaponized cuckoo clocks, and they are just as stupid. Ooh, here we go. Uh-oh. Ooh! That's not good for me. He wins that one. The Trabant? Ugh. Talk about a bad thing to be shot by. We're still just shooting the bejesus out of these people. He's going to be like, why have you destroyed 30 of your ships to destroy my navy? And I'll be like, because I will build another 30 ships. And strike your cuckoo clock is lovely, but a weaponized cuckoo clock is it ridiculous. And early torpedoes are all handmade and really weird. Alright, so we're just gonna just bean the hell out of these guys. He's gonna sink the ship that's already sinking. Good job. Good job. He's deciding to have a sink because of the fire. Good old vitamin F. Oh yeah, he's gonna have himself a sink right any minute. And we're just gonna... Don't worry about the fire. I mean, everyone has a little fire sometimes. Johnny Cash wrote a song about it. Oh, cool. We fired a torp. Oh, he's deciding to sink before it destroys him. But it would still might be cool. Yeah, it was cool. Good job. Okay, that's destroyed. End battle? No. Why would I end the battle when I know their navy's right out there? And we just made contact. And only half my boats are fucky. No, I wish to go find the rest of the navy and introduce them to burn. I wish to introduce them to burn. Oh, by the way, if you guys are interested, there is the auxiliary discord, which is the Black Pants Legion auxiliary, which you can join if you want, but there is no requirement or anything. That's out there. You can watch WBPL 76 anytime and uh, get a link there. Occasionally there are links here, but uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and just keep shooting this motherfucker and bringing him down. Looks like we've found what looks like the remains of some of their navy, but the heavier plunging fire coming in from back there definitely makes me think 
that we're dealing with some heavier ships in the back. Certainly. Let's keep rolling. Okay, that one's blowing up. Oh, that's blowing up bad. Oh, that's... Yeah. Well, closed casket it is. Yeah, it looks like uh, the Monopoly boats are going to win this one. Fun fact, did you know the battleship in the game of uh, Monopoly, uh, believe it or not, was left over um, from an earlier game, and they just put it in the game because they had pieces. How, how weird is that? There was another game that involved battleships and miniatures that they made before Monopoly. No one bought. And they were like, what do we do with it? And they were like, let's put the ship in there. Just saying. Interesting things. Interesting things. You know, another thing I was going to point out. There's all sorts of weird, interesting factoids, Mr. Tex knows. But I'm going to give you one that is going to ruin something for you. But I'll, I'll let you guys decide if you're ready for it. Because it is mind-altering knowledge. It, it, it will change how you see things. And most of you are going to feel very cheated. Just saying. Um, just, just, uh... Just, uh, just, just an interesting factoid I know. And, uh, you guys can decide while I decide to run these cruisers down under a hail of delicious gunfire as we just steam in here like gods. Mm. So, here's the weird factoid. And mind you, there's probably 15 seconds of delay. But... Let me give you this really weird information. So, you guys are probably all familiar with this product known as a Twinkie, which is a sponge cake with a cream filling. Did you know that as a result of World War II, they had to change the filling to what it is now? Originally, they had banana cream filling because the Twinkie was supposed to be like a cake banana. That was the idea. Hence its shape and color. And uh, they did away with that and it saved them a lot of money. And so they never went back. They were just like, eh. Budweiser did the same thing during World War II with uh, rice. Um... Uh, yeah, uh, a, a lot of, a lot of companies did some, uh, interesting things. Uh-oh, uh-oh, up, yep, yep, up, ooh, well, he tried. See you later. Let's just keep bringing up ships and shooting these people to death. You know, I'm gonna say this. For the loss of ships I've had, it's a pretty good, pretty good fight. I just need to continue to find and kill their larger vessels. Oh, occasionally my vessels are having setbacks. Like that one. That's a really, really bad setback he's having right there. That's what we like to call a progressive catastrophic event. Um, it's, it, usually they are progressive to the point until the vessel falls apart. And, uh, then, then it's not there anymore. I see their battleship. That means the other one or whatever they got must be near it. And I just have to continue to run the battle line. Just like this is Age of Sail, boys. We're just gonna Age of Sail this. 
We're gonna drive down the battle line. Straight at them. And then I'm going to ram that fucking battleship because I said I would. All right, boys. Here we go. We got two big boys up there. From hell's heart I stab at thee. <laughs> We're gonna go run some battleships down. Oh, it looks like he decided to have a sink. And I don't mind what picric acid sinks, it just sinks. And time-traveling tourists? I don't know. I probably would have liked to seen the actual deliberations of the Constitution. I, I would love to have seen these people yelling at each other, as you know they did. Because they didn't write down everything. They, they didn't write down, like, people calling each other names and making faces. I think that would be interesting. Oh, oh, oh no. Look at that. They're just having a bunch of sinks. They're having some sink issues. Get it? I'm gonna make some more smonk as the rest of the fleet comes up. Some of which are just broken. That motherfucker's having a pounding. Keep in mind, Chetland was a pretty huge battle. Uh, and yeah, so this would be an absolute massive world event. You are correct. This big of a fleet disappearing is pretty bad. Well, it seems like the broadside tactics of Flat Gang Incorporated are doing quite well. Uh, and their battleships can't seem to hit anything, I say. And watch me be the fucking General Sedgwick who says, Oh, they couldn't hit the broadside of an elevator and then dead, you know. That would be my fucking luck. Fourth Union Corps. Kind of interesting. My, my family fought on both sides of the Civil War uh, just because they were one of those split counties. So I'm sure that must have been awkward. But I, I think a great many more of them signed up for both sides um, just to get the enlistment money. <laughs> I think they were like, oh, no, we, we served on both sides. And they were probably just crossing the county line. And <laughs> yeah, you know, just, just being like, oh, yeah, sure, no problem. I'm totally in with you guys. And then... <laughs> Sure, yeah, 50 bucks, sign where? <laughs> and then done. Those battleships are still out there, and they're right over there, and I know they are, and I don't like them. So we're just going to tell everyone to damn the torpedoes and run full speed out, and we're just going to have the whole fleet turn, and it's going to be great. We have enemy smoke spotted in the south. We're just going to roll right at them with our giant murder ball, which is still mostly coherently there. And then we can remove everything. I've played Gunner Heat PC once uh, when it was before it was on Steam. I thought it was all right. Um... Though, when it comes down to voice acting, I, I typically don't notice much. And and I'm not saying that to be mean. It's usually I'm playing games with my friends. So I, I only recall generally the conversations or gameplay itself. We're going to go run some battleships down, though. Thank you, Mr. Train. I appreciate it. Look, we got a nice formation that's almost reasonable. Everyone's at a speed. They're doing a speed. We're heading due south. We've got this nice formation that is just almost symmetrical. And that's them laying smonk. So, oh, Mr. Train is here. Good day, Mr. Train. 
Thank you, Mr. Train. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys just driving right through the backyard there, letting us know where we sit in the universe. Yeah, so far a pretty okay exchange. I mean, they they sank a lot of fucking ships. They did a lot of damage. These things are cheap, but they can't replace them, and I can. So, yeah. Oh, there we go. Jason Mirgot. All right. Well, time to sink that. Let's see. We got uh, four clicks to close. Four clicks to close, and then ramming speed. We got two battleships. Obviously a light cruiser with them. It's somewhere. Here comes the boys. Looks like definitely uh, English yard style Mikasa-ish boat. Ah, yes. The V for murder. That doesn't make sense. But let's do it. Now, as we beat this person down into the ground, and they proceed to just burn because they only made their ships do 19 knots instead of the Chad 24. Well, 24 on paper. But, uh, yeah. I think this is a good portion of their battle fleet. And I have another 50 ships that have not even seen combat. Now, I could lose this whole fleet and build more and better. And it's not based on British designs. The Mikasa is British designs. Um, a lot of things had to be specifically designed for it uh, because Japanese sailors were smaller. Um, they're, it's <laughs> the dreadnought and pre-dreadnought era of ship and export ship designs is pretty wild because they were doing the equivalent by selling those ships in their time of selling like a nuclear weapon. It, big strategic power instantly. Oh wow, they shot me and we, we hit each other. He's gonna sink, I'm gonna sink, that's fine. Here comes the next one, because Roland was a warrior. And he is still capable of doing full power despite the whole front of the ship being largely shot off. He didn't give a fuck. Keep swinging. So, I suppose we'll just chase down these battleships and pelt the shit out of them with our little French fleet, and then we're just gonna Benny Hill them. We're gonna make our ships faster and faster with more and more little guns. They can't run. He can do 14 knots. That is the maximum speed of his battleships. 14 knots. And that's not good. That's that's really not good. I mean, just to give you a frame of reference, HMS Warrior, which is a Brunel design, 1850s, 1860s, HMS Warrior could do 14 knots. This this is way bad so what we're gonna have to do is sink him so his navy can build something better and the citizens of Austria-Hungary no longer have to look at this eyesore we're doing some very important work don't worry we're just gonna have to send the drive-by fleet in to handle it All we gotta do is wait. Oh, wow. He just had a fire. Yeah, that's what you get for being made out of crap. You and your sad boats. If you made your boots out of osomium, you'd be all right. Now, the secret is just a liberal application of very volatile munitions.
All right, so why why is he not surrendered? Because I would. Now, if I was in his shoes, if I was in the Budapest, right? And this is my current situation. And I looked out upon the wing, that which was not on fire, if it were, and I saw nothing but a sail of endless, small, high-explosive incendiary ammunition swimming toward me and the other ship in formation having broken formation and burned to the waterline. I just surrender. I, th I think that's what you're supposed to do at that point. Uh, but he won't. He's just gonna drive away very slowly. And uh, yeah. Imagine this war though. Day one, they send the ships out. Day two, what navy? This is pre-wireless, or at least pre-common use of Marconi wireless. So, think about the ramifications of a navy just disappearing. Man, that just sounds bad. That sounds like a presentation of that, uh, that band Stomp. Is it a band or a group? What do you play? Smashing things. Yeah, I guess that's an instrument. I mean, Tchaikovsky has said percussion is what you think, right? Well, looks like there's maybe a battleship left. Where'd it go? It's over in the west? It's probably off the map by now. Well, it looks like I did okay. And he's now down most of his navy. Oh, look, there's the Lusitania sinking. Oh, look, there's the rest of his navy. Let's destroy it, shall we? I think that would be a very good idea. I think what we need to do is we need to go find all of his navy and make it disappear at once. I think that would be really, really, really cool. What we need to do is just go out and destroy them. Yes. Yes, we shall. 22 light cruisers in this division. That's fine. Let's just put them in a big ball. Don't you worry about it. It'll be okay. You know, we're not the best admiral here. I think you all know that. Yeah, I'm definitely going to... Tight abreast, you think? All right, let's try it. Let's have fun. Wall of fire it is. We're going to just slow way down so people can catch up and get into formation. And we're just going to do our best here. Don't worry about that sound. That is a bad sound. That is... Mm. <laughs> so, we haven't heard from the Navy in weeks. What do? Well, Navy. Yeah, that's a normal Navy sound. Don't you worry about it. It's a very normal Navy sound. All right, where? Okay, they're in the northwest, huh? All right, we're going to just build ourselves this nice, happy V of boats. Hopefully. Hopefully this will work. I don't see the enemy. That doesn't mean they don't see me. Uh, ah, oh, they see me. Right as I... Wow. Wow, do they see me. Holy shit. I was like, well, the enemy... Dead. All right, so... I know where they are. We've established that much. Uh, 
Well done. Also, their first uh, almost 6,900 damage. Almost 6,969 damage. So that was pretty nice. What an amazing, amazing coincidence. 6.9k. Well done. It appears this portion of their fleet is more competent. Very well. And Grimos, it is line abreast. See how it says line abreast for everyone who said line abreast? It's right there. I've had this set for a while. Whether or not they do it is up to them. All right. Ooh, ooh. Is that a battleship? Is that what they're thinking? I don't think that's a battleship, guys. I think that's just a cruiser. All right, we gotta get, let this guy have it. Feed it to him. Oh, look at that. That looks like, oh. And he, he activated his cloaking device. He, he activated that. Well, here we go. Oh, this is gonna get proper stupid. Baguette Corp engage. Well, that's going down. He's having himself a... Oh, oh, he's getting turned. All right. We gotta find out where that main battle fleet is, and I think it's right back here. Oh, this is forming up nice. Yeah, his heavy cruisers are pretty quick at 20 knots, but I'm quicker. He has a lot of heavy armor on them, though. It says they have 8 inches, so that's the belt. And if the, if the main belt has 8 inches on a heavy cruiser, that's, like, good. From Hex Hard, I stab at you. Oh man, they're just pouring it on. It doesn't matter if his armor's hard. If it's on fire, it dies. These are important lessons you need to learn. Fire is very effective. Let's add some smonk, so we can continue to pour fire from the smonk cloud. Now, at this point in the engagement, he is whipping my ass. Ah, the French, noted for their simultaneous ammunition explosions. Alright, let's not have that. Quit exploding. It's not good for you. That's a lot of explosions. It appears we have a roadblock in the middle of the road, slowing down our racetrack here. Stop exploding. Well, I mean, who knows? It could be Bastille Day. Oh, no. Those are some bad hits. So here's the question. What kind of guns those... Okay, 6.2-inch guns. Those are interesting. <laughs> Weiner Neustadt. All right. Yeah, his heavy cruisers are a lot more uh, competent. I'll say that much. However, a lot of his boats are also sinking. Which is good. Fire is great. Oh, you can block all the shots you want, but the fire is spreading. Constant spray of shells. As it should be. Bring me into ramming range. I promise these good people violence. Good people violence. 
Oh wow, that guy just exploded. Excellent. Oh yeah, there's that battleship. Let's charge right in. Let's have some fun. Oh yeah, this is gonna be horrifying. Now he's got a lot more firepower than I do it seems, but I have a lot more stupid. Ah yes, the fires. So, the thing about fire is fires on boats are bad because you can't get off boats easy in the middle of the ocean. And the fire typically will just make everything very unpleasant. Alright, we're crawling right into this. Oh, firing a torp off. If this hits, it'll be good. And it was! And it is. Excellent. Let's continue to just brawl right into the center of this division. And don't worry about all that ramming noise. Just straight at them, boys. Just right down the middle. We're going to plow the road. Asha and Gary decided that they wanted to have this. So we're going to make the Navy bite-sized. Their Navy and mine. I'm going to reduce my overhead. So win-win. All right, we're just getting into a knife fight city distance here. Holy shit, holy. Let's see if we can't get some twerps off. That would be really nice. Can't see anything at this range, but uh, oh, there's a twerp off right there, right there, right there. Beautiful hit. Beautiful hit amidships. Excellent, well done, well done. Now the turns have tabled. Ah yes, you seem to have built a bunch of bitey ships of many types. I have instead decided to sink them. Oh, that's not good. The, the, the sudden Polaroid flash is never good. I see the lyrics. Take me down to the knife fight city where the girls are pretty. I, I think it'd probably be more like, take me down to knife fight city where the girls are girls and the knives are pretty. Just like, yes, there are women there, but the knives are great. Ah, oh, the knives. It's their chief export and crime. Oh dear. It appears there's fire on my ships. How terrible. Quickly, everyone, offload the ammunition into the enemy as quickly as possible. Oh, that's distressing. Man, our ships are pretty fucking metal today. going down. Alright, here we go. Yeah, their ships are fast enough to be annoying, and definitely gunned enough to be deadly. I'm gonna lose this one at this rate. They're just gonna be able to leave. However, I do have them on the run. Aggression is its own doctrine. It's not a smart one, but so far, so okay. <laughs> Am I winning? Absolutely not. They're winning this one, hands down. Those heavy cruisers are absolute murder on me. They have really good armor. It's a while to burn them down with uh, four inch guns. And on top of it, they have 
just enough speed to not allow me to run into them, because if I had actually been able to close distance, I might have gotten a few more torpedo hits. But that's a lot of hope, so we can't bank on it. Yeah. The Haradric Tomes say don't fuck with picric acid. It will burn everything. Oh, man. We got all sorts of fire and shit. It's fantastic. Ow. All sorts of bonk. Looks like this is the end of them, boys. We've run out of ships with forward go. Ah, they're running. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to win this one. But I am able to cause an enormous amount of damage, which is funny. I'll just send in the next wave. And the next wave. And the next wave. And the next wave. And the next wave. I'll build more. Oh, it'll be fun. We'll just keep building more. But yeah, Hopium gave way to Copium. We did not do well. They have some pretty cool cruisers. We're going to have to figure out how to counter them. It's all right, though. The navy is now cheaper, and I can build a bigger navy. That's the fun of these things, really. So, Austro-Hungary is being a little weird, and they're just all sitting over there acting all big and tough, but that won't last because the rest of my navy is going to go right over here and continue to mob them up because I can actually maintain ships on station, and he can't, which is great. Um... The way I can do that is by having a big enough navy. So I'm repairing 18 ships, and I have 55 that are still good to go. Uh, and I'm going to be moving those into position now. So there we go. How inexpensive are those boats? Very! Thank you, Britain. Oh, it says I cannot crew those ships. That's a lie. I actually have more than enough crew. However, the game is sometimes fucky. And coming up with a lot of crew is uh, a very literal problem in this game because you end up massacring so many people. And it makes you realize that, yeah, they're, that is a part of it. So they're down to four battleships, 12 heavy cruisers, seven light cruisers, and three torpedo boats. What do we got here? Oh, cool. They have a convoy? Let's destroy it and take everything. Now we need to sink their whatever they have. I, I don't know. So yeah, it's it's all all we have to do is just build cheap and very cheap. And it's it's not it's not a it's not eh, all right. So cheap and a lot of manpower loss and oh cool. The sex bots are here. That's how you know you've made it in YouTube when the sex bots show up. Oh, man, that's really when you, you know it's exciting. And I know YouTube spends almost $7 a year on on sex bot mitigations. Uh, I wish they'd spend more than 7 I wish they'd spend like, uh, I don't know, 8 or $9 would probably be a good amount of money to start with, but they won't. Uh, it's because, well, it's YouTube. It's how it be. Don't worry. So let's just go ahead and bring these in tight and put those abreast. And there we go. And we're going to... I don't worry about avoiding torpedoes. So it says they are northwest, huh? All right, we'll just have one turn left and we'll have one uh, turn right. And then we'll just uh, see what happens. All right, we have nothing but... Yeah. Oh, and that's YouTube. They still run ads on your shit. I mean, shit. Back in the old days, back in the old days, you could make a pretty good middle class living off YouTube. Um, even at this, even at this low a level of YouTube, you could actually make a really, really decent living, like middle class anywhere in the U.S. But that was about 2011, and. uh yeah, that era has faded.
And you're right, the robots aren't even powered by soup. I mean, what kind of robots are they? Let's see, northwest. It says the enemy is northwest. They are to the north and the west. They have a large fleet, but I want to destroy these transports because they probably contain things like hope and medicine, which need to go to the bottom immediately. Okay, so here's, what is this? What do we got? Surface combatants, surface combatants, cruisers. Where is the transports? That's a battleship. Transports will not be far beyond the battleships. Oh my sweet Jesus, they are beating the fuck out of us. Yeah, they are really defending those bat those those transports. They must really like their baklava or whatever they're getting, but I mean this is the Mediterranean, so we're gonna fight over nothing. We're gonna fight over nothing. It's time to go. We're just going to keep fighting and be really belligerent and hope they lead us to the delicious transports which contain the strudel which we must destroy. So I was going to ask, uh, what do you guys think if we did a um, BPL space program on uh, Kerbal? I could probably do that on a Tuesday night. Just kind of some casual low-end, uh, maybe a persistent campaign of ongoing, um, what's the word? Oops. There could be a lot of fun in that, but uh, yeah. Okay, so the, the cruisers are just going forward, shelling everything, ramming each other. Where are those transports? Show me the money. I mean, I'm just going to cause as much nonsense as I can. As far as... RimWorld goes. I find that RimWorld doesn't like streaming. Um, for some reason, it just doesn't on my computer, I guess. Uh, but RimWorld, I'm not sure. It's like... Tuesday night is supposed to be just kind of casual bullshit. And Oh, wow, those two guys sank in the same position. That's hilarious. Um, but I was thinking maybe Kerbal. Uh, I would love to do Hearts of Iron. But unfortunately, the mods I run pretty much make that impossible with all the music in them. And I enjoy the music as part of the experience. Man, we are just beating the hell out of these guys if we can get in close enough. But we have to get in close enough. Where are the transports? Quit exploding over there. Oh, it's the Estress. It's not the Esses. Don't worry. Not good. Okay, that's... Yes, I get it. It's a bad fire. I can see it from orbit. Man, what a fire. So they've got some battleships in there. The question is, where's those fucking transports? I want the transports. I hunger for them. I'm going to cause as much chaos as possible regardless. As, as far as though the BPL space program or what have you, I mean, we, we can try to figure it out. I was thinking of other fun games I could play that would be low key or at least madness. Wow, that battleship just sank. Their battleships are way worse than their heavy cruisers in every way. Let us drive them from the ocean. Let us send them to the briny deep. Yeah, this would be the last of their battleships. There's one, two, three, and four. Come on, flank speed, boys. Let's do this. Oh, 
All right, he's having a bad day, but he's still here. And let's keep murdering this whole fleet. Oh, just normal Kerbal. I've played modded Kerbal, but eventually it's like, oh, I made a B-52. Yeah, okay, I have a light drive. Uh-huh. I just like watching rockets explode. Factorio, I have to be careful who I play with. Some people just do circuit boards. I can't compete with that. They're too good. Is that the transports? Yes, it is. Gentlemen, we have our targets. Never mind the rest of the fleet. Sink the transports. Destroy the transports. We must send the strudel to the bottom of the ocean. Oh dear, it appears the transports are made of crap. I will destroy the transports. They may destroy my fleet, but I will destroy the transports. That's what we're gonna do. So there's one transport. The question is, where's the others? Not sure if they realize what's going on here. But it's going to be okay. Spin stabilization is one of my majestic moments in Kerbal. It's how I launched Colberto Net, which is the greatest, greatest satellite provider there ever was. Colberto Net. Uh, Colberto Net is wonderful. It um, all you have to do is just throw things into space as hard as you can. And uh, yeah. Pretty all right. Oh dear. Warship sinks to structural damage. Oh, you mean transport? Transport? Yeah. I hope you guys also look forward to the, uh, not only the Magistrata Mundanus, but Traveler is going to be pretty stupid. We've recorded a lot of Traveler. And I mean a lot. Uh, Traveler's pretty great. We have a good crew. We have lots of fun people. So we're losing the main battle line. But we are sinking all the transports. That is exactly what I wanted. Let us reduce their industrial base. And I'm going to turn this guy over here and see if we can't get some of that battleship meat. Get that sweet, sweet battleship made. There's the rest of the transports. Fuck, yes. Alright, let's run them down. Oh, let's have some fun. And I think we're playing Mongoose's second edition. Mike is also working on a sequel to Star Trek. Which is great. It's going to be really fun. And Magistrata Mundanus will be out when it's out. Uh, Mike is on episode 8 of The Master, so... I think there are going to be 16 hour-and-a-half-ish episodes. Uh, but it will be on the BPL podcast when it's all done. It's just we want to make sure that everything is done in time. Oh, God. We're having some oopsie. But I'm going to blow the fuck out of all of these transports. I don't care if they sink the whole main line. We're going to fight like crazy bastards anyways. They're trying to chase my line, actually, as I chase their transports down. So this is a bit of a gaggle fuck as far as operations go. But I'm winning because I get to sink the transports, which means they will have less strudel, which means they will fight far less effectively. I also need to put torpedoes into a battleship they've literally just named Otto. Like, first name. 
just yeah Otto Francis like any particular one like no just we know a guy we like him I'm not sure if anything is a lost cause as far as nations go. I think it's very poor of modern historians to to just automatically say X is Y. Because if you lived in a place like Detroit, historically they'd be like, Oh, that city's a lost cause. And I'd be like, fuck you, buddy's pizza is great. Fuck you. The music's good, the people are nice, fuck you. But... The problem is, is the more years we put between things, we lose the small context of life. And sure, Austro-Hungary had, had shitloads of problems as an empire, but I think like all things, uh, a bad enough war or bad enough decisions can certainly tip a nation to being more than a bad idea or uh, a poor mismatch of ideas. It, it can tip it into chaos and, you know, craziness very easily. And, and that just happened. I mean, it was, it was a bunch of states held together by the Habsburgs, essentially. Detroit's nice. Like, when I went through there, as I said on the podcast, like, everyone's like, oh, Detroit's terrible. And I'm like, no, people were actually really pleasant. Everyone was incredibly polite. The food was good. Everyone was just nice. I was like, nice. This is good. I like that. So we lost the main battle line, but we're going to sink all of the transports. One of the other things I want to talk about is possibly, if I could get the fucker to work, I would really love to stream Xenonauts, because I talked about it. I talked about it. Uh, in the mod video. Now, the problem is, is that Xenonauts is less stable than my capacity for happiness. Um, so, uh, making that stream, uh, in its current configuration would be difficult, but I, I think I would like and enjoy doing it. Looks like we're knocking the last of the transports out, so that's fun. Sink all transports. Yeah, he's chasing my battle fleet down and destroying most of them with his big heavy hitters, but... I'm getting to knock out all of his lovely transports and sending all that strudel to the ground. All right, there we go. It looks like they are interested in trying to run down what's left of my fleet. And that's fine, because they're just gonna fade into the darkness. Feed into the darkness. As far as thoughts on Homeworld 3 trailers or anything like that, I mean, I'll wait till the game's out. Deserts of Karak looked good and played okay. And I, I want to find something that is just as good as I remembered Homeworld 2 being, you know? It's kind of what I wanted. Alright, so we're going to just fade into the darkness with our fast ships. And hopefully the Austro-Hungarians uh, learn to have some vitamin fuck off, you know. Now, if you want to see something really crazy, another thing I had thought about doing for this game is there are a series of training challenges which I had competed or completed, but um, they had actually reset all of them. Each and every one, because they updated the game. I think it would be kind of fun to try to do all of them uh, in the least appropriate ways possible. Because some of the stuff you can do in those is ridiculous. Um, you, you can make battleships the hydroplane at like 42, you know, uh, knots across the water. And I've not considered a Battlestar Galactica deadlock playthrough, but... Again, you'd be surprised how little uh, time I have to spend on games. Unfortunately, uh, I end up being busy more often than not. So I'm down to 16 active ships. He is down to very little, and I can build oceans more because I have all the money. And it's great, so we can just get under the hood. 
and we can just have fun. Now, we have these light cruisers, and they are still limited, unfortunately, by their displacement. But now that I have better engine technology and everything else, I can make these worse and worse and worse. And yeah, those challenges are absolute bastards. I did not have a good time uh, wrapping my head around some of them. Some of them are absolutely heinously difficult, but I think that's more a product of my observation. And wow, very close on our score so far. Kind of fun. But guys, if you don't mind, I was thinking of turning in for the rest of my evening. I worked a very long day today, and I'm very glad to have shared just a little bit of my time on a Tuesday with you guys, just ship posting and having fun and setting a lot of ships on fire. We learned today that French bonk boats are pretty fun. However, we're going to have to hear lots and lots of ship groaning and hole scraping. And yeah, I played a lot of Homeworld Cataclysm. I enjoyed it very much. It's probably one of the better written ones. At any rate, folks, I'll see you guys next time. And please remember to always stay safe.